Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Let's Play Civilization V Brave New World is Babylon. Before we start the gameplay, I just want to announce uh, another giveaway. I talked about in part three, maybe doing something that would be a little bit more universal uh, as far as people being able to take it rather than just uh, a free copy of XCOM. So I'm going to be giving away a $25 gift card to Amazon.com. And um, again, this is just a thank you for helping me get to 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. With that out of the way, let's go to work. Uh, I want to share this little interesting message. Germany staged a coup in Lhasa, ousted the Babylonian supporters, and installed their own in the government to become the new ally of the city-state. So, if you didn't see last time, I cleared a barbarian camp here and picked up a ton of influence. Now, at that time, I was supposed to be getting eight faith per turn uh, from the city-state. And then, immediately, like, right after that is when the coup happened. So, if you look now, I'm not even friends with them. That's fairly crushing. Because that extra eight faith per turn, that would really be significant for us. But it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take metal casting so we can open up workshops. Uh, Bismarck entered the Renaissance. Yep. Yeah, so Germany was apparently their ally before and then they got it back. Vilnius, who we just met, wants us to clear a barbarian camp. They're, like, way over here. That's not happening. Okay. So, we got barbarian issues over there. I want to turn this into a farm. I don't really have much else to do over here. I'm guessing this camp was probably cleared out a long time ago. Yeah, they don't uh, they don't have a quest asking me to clear anything. Okay, I guess I'll just build a mine, right? I mean, what else am I going to do? This city is going to cap out. Um... I can keep the trade route going, but there's so little food here and no sea resources. As I've pointed out many times, I keep looking, hoping that somehow I just missed it. But of course I haven't. So the horsemen went aggressive on me. Didn't really do that much for them, I would say. Um, okay, so we have developed... Well, nice of him to make himself at home on my farm. I did give him open borders. i got to admit that. Let's do this. So, I'm going to heal up. I mean, if they want to keep ramming into me, I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're going to do a farm. This will be worth four food. And then I think we'll just bring this guy up here and we'll make an academy. Crank our science up another notch. I'm more than happy to do that. Okay, so there's a couple ways we could go here. I'm really tempted. I mean, I want to found another city. And while I think this is a pretty crap place for a city. Maybe I bring it over here. You know, I could come. Let me think about this. So I'd lose the copper. If I was here. But I'd still have all the deer. And I'd even get in the cotton eventually. And at least I could build a farm here. And I'd get the horses. God, man. This is just so bad. Anyway. Um, alternatively, I could still build a city here. That just also seems really bad. I'm going to have like a four population city. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and do the university first, and then I think I'm going to build a settler. Oh, boy. I just feel like our choices are so bad. I really wouldn't have guessed North America would be this bad. You know, in fairness, there are good spots. Just Lhasa and Kiev have ruined them. That's the real issue. You know, both of those have some pretty fertile ground, and there's good ground near them. Just not enough to necessarily make a viable city. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see, like, I could found something here. But look at how little I've got. And I'm just wanting all these tiles that Babylon needs. And, you know, where am I going to go where that's not true and I'm getting decent tiles? Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, um, I could do a farm up here, but it feels like a waste of time, because let's be honest, that's where my next academy is probably going to go. So, I think I'm just going to put this guy to sleep. Oh, actually, that's stupid. I take it back. Let's, uh, what's the fastest way to come up here? If I'm going to found another city in this general area... Actually, I think I'd rather come up to sea. Because uh, going through that stupid city-state, the problem is their units keep blocking you, and you lose turns because of that. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. So, you know, Germany founded a city right here in the desert, immediately to our north. Earlier, they founded this one. That's going to be trouble. That's going to cause border tension between us. Uh, I wish they hadn't done it, but... Don't really know what I can do about it, unfortunately. Oh, well, I could attack them, but I'd rather not do that. Okay, where is this guy? So, I would rather have him here. So, let's move him over. Okay, uh, what's my next technology? Realistically, I'd like to get to machinery, so yeah, we'll go guilds. And then over here, I'm actually pretty tempted to just run another composite bowman. Um, okay, I'll probably do the workshop after that. And then in a cod, I'll do walls first. And then I'll probably grab a workshop. I'm already only going to take four turns to do this, so I don't think I need to um, prioritize the workshop over that. I mean, what am I cutting off, you know, in terms of the number of turns? Okay, so you go there, you go there. We saved ourselves a few gold per turn. And there's salt over here. Now, what's on the ground? For tundra, tundra, this is tundra. Yeah, see, so the salt will literally be the only tiles that is good for two food. Man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, it's slim pickings out here. That's all I can say. I do think I need to come up here. Um, maybe I'm not positive which is the perfect, well, <laughs> which is the least bad spot to settle. But at least there are some resources. Hmm. Hang on a second. Okay. I want to make sure I get this marble. So he's probably going to be mad that I did that, but let him. Let's do this, too. 
And am I locked in over here? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. So I assume this is Harold. Certainly looks like we're on the edge of his turf. Do I want to reassign any of this? Um, I mean, I'll leave it as it is, I guess. Ultimately, I want this tile instead of some of the others, but for right now, it's fine. At least until they build the farm. Yeah, it's not that I think he's going to attack right now, but... You know, when he is ready to attack, I probably am not going to get that much warning. So, I think making sure we have a ranged unit in each city. Making sure we have walls. You know, this is not an extravagant defense. Uh, can I see the city? Okay, good. Yeah, so if I was hoping for more grassland or something over here, I'm not getting it. In Babylon, we finished our bowmen, so I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to build a workshop. And then I'm going to build, I'm going to take machinery rather. So we can upgrade our composite bow to uh, crossbow. And if he, if he attacks me with something like Swordsman, my crossbow would really tear him up. So, and with Walls of Babylon as opposed to regular walls, that'll help too. Lhasa wants Kiev bullied. I am, I'm actually still toying with the idea of taking Kiev. Uh, it'll be a while before I'm ready to, but yeah, even with the warmonger hit, I'm just so thoroughly unimpressed with the cities I can found. All right, I'm going to go workshop, then observatory. An observatory needs a lot of hammers, so the workshop should really help. And of course, you know, It'll help everything I build from that point forward. That's why I'm such a believer in knocking them out as soon as you can. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, move this worker over to improve. It's actually kind of cool. With uh, astronomy, I can use a worker as a <laughs> explorer ship. I don't want to go up on land with this guy. I want to wait until we have uh, my bowman and the settler come over. I guess I could bring the bowman now. That is something we could consider. And try to just like pick our spot and kind of camp on it. That's not a bad idea necessarily. Okay, I'm not going to come over a whole lot farther. Actually, I have to decide how much farther I'm going to come with my scout, too. What's this about? Germany is now the ally of Kiev. That's bad news for me. Um, I have to decide, you know, when or if I'm going to uh, make a move on him. I'm really not comfortable having him here. Uh, that could really go badly for me. The thing that sucks is if I take his cities, literally the only thing I'm going to do is raise them. Okay. I don't see any trouble over there. Um, I guess it doesn't matter to me if Vilnius gets mad a little bit. Okay, we're going into rationalism. That's an easy call. And then, oh, this is a good question. Should I push up here? I don't think so. Let's just grab physics. I'd love to get printing press. I guess I'll go physics first. 
I'm not going to build castles quite this fast. I just barely got the stupid, uh, oh, let me, oh, crap, no, no, no. That's what I want. Uh, okay. Workshop observatory, something like that. I think that makes sense. Okay, I mean, these are almost going to be like real cities if we can um, get workshops, get some production, you know, get going. I may need to buy some tiles up here, although I just wish there were more tiles I was excited about taking. I don't think I'm going to go on shore. Let's do this. Let's just go ahead and bring him out. And, wow, like, just nowhere to move. I could go for open borders with Harold. He'll die. Let's see if he does it. Let's go. Nope. Um, yeah, I don't really want to pay. So, eh, I guess I won't worry about it. Maybe I'll send him down the coast or something and try to meet more people. We probably should start to open it up. It's pretty obvious at this point that if I ever take these stupid city-states, I'm certainly not going to avoid any diplomatic hit. So I'm, I would be better off just having more potential trading partners. Well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't go up on shore, huh? I'm going to go out on a limb. We get to steal a technology. I will grab chivalry. It's not exactly <laughs> a plum, but uh, Bismarck is constructing the Forbidden Palace. And I got promoted. How long? Okay, 28 turns. Let's go after Copenhagen. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Oh, it's too late for this turn, isn't it? No, no, I can do it. I want to go to Lhasa. We're going to try to build... Oh, that won't work, will it? Not when they're hostile. They want a trade route. Uh, that's pretty far, guys. Well, we'll see. If I could figure out a way to... Get more influence with them. I'd be pretty tempted to do it. I'm... Oops. Yeah, I'm going to do this for now. I want to stay as friendly with him as we can. I'm building workshops in all three of my cities right now. That's kind of funny. Oh boy. Yeah, I should have come over here. That was probably stupid. I may actually end up running away. We'll see. Man, Vilnius has a lot of dudes. Okay, do I just want to grab steel or go for printing press? I kind of want printing press. I'll tell you what, if I could build the leaning tower, mm, I probably don't have much chance of that. That's the only crappy thing. Yes. Uh, the only thing, let me try to switch to sugar. Beautiful. Beautiful. How far off am I? Okay, so this is going to be the last one that finishes. I'm pretty sure when I finish the workshop up north, I'm just going to build a settler there. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if I made as much progress as I wanted to, but that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.